Hey guys, in this video, after about a month of work, thinking we were gonna replace one engine, but ended up replacing two, we finally get Contiki back in the water and do the final preparations to fire up. Hmm. What was her name at that point? What's her name? Last time guys, I showed a great place to get the engines from. And then we, over a period of about a month, got the engines installed, both of them. And now at this leg in the video, we're putting Contiki back in the water to fire it back up for the first time. Guys, this video series is about documenting the great loop, not how to replace an engine. I do have a video like that on my channel. I'm gonna leave a link here. If you need help, go take a look at that one. So these are the little setups we got for the oil pressure sending unit. Mm -hmm. What was her name at Napa? What's her name? Haley. Haley at Napa hooked us up again. You might want to put a wrench on that. That's going to do it. No. The reason is there's no room for that. So if this were underneath here like that, high enough to to uh, miss that little gusset on the intake manifold, this would be hitting the bottom of the... <laughs> <laughs> I, I can find that. <laughs> it would hit the bottom of the distributor. So that's why we have to do a, an angle. And that thing will come off the side like that. Perfect. And, yeah, that's all we need. This was pretty much the last thing holding us up and we got it this morning. So y'all, y'all stay tuned for a crank here shortly. We gotta set the distributor. So the first thing we gotta find top dead center. I'm gonna hold my finger over the hole and Marty's gonna bump it. We need the number one cylinder to come up on the compression stroke. And the way you know for sure is to put your finger over it unless you like some of the videos people have it, all this will be off. And you could look at some of it, but we obviously got all ours together. So. Yep, okay. Come on, one more. One more, just a hair. That's it. That could be a hair pass, though. But guessing at where that one is, mm -hmm. that's very, very close. So I'll introduce Tom. He uh, works for United Rentals, but... He's also been a mechanic for many years. What, owned your own shop, Tom? Yeah, 17 for, years. For a Jack's long time. Automotive. This is Tom's third, excuse me, this is Tom's third time over here. He's come over, kind of helped watch us, uh, gives input whenever he sees we're going afoul. <laughs> and uh, it's been really good. He's been very helpful. Um, so, yeah, he's over today for the final uh, distributor set. He brings tools that, some of the tools that we wouldn't have. It would be really good to have somebody like Tom if you're doing a job like this until you learn it and then once you learn it, you're good to go. So so all we got to do now is uh, Marty's going to put in that number one plug and then um, put some water in it and cut it, stroke it. <laughs> Wait dude, that's a different video. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah, even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't need to leave it before. <laughs> <laughs> this video is not made for kids. <laughs> all right, so you you got all the plug wires on. You just put the water in. We're putting in what? Um, I'm cheap, so I got 100%, and I'm adding water, which is, you know, this is like $17. So you're getting twice as much. You can get 50-50 for about 17 bucks also, but you're paying, what, $8 for this much water. That's right. For, you know, half a gallon of water eight dollars so it's thereabouts so i got the full strength stuff plus you can add more of this if you're going into freezing temperature which hopefully we never do <laughs> but you would need more than 50 50 but anyways yeah so there's antifreeze and uh purified water so at this point we uh everything is in all the fluids are in we think everything's on um we're gonna spin it just a little bit to a prime the motor but see if we can get fuel up here once we know we got fuel um, if we didn't crank it, it had a problem. We would just double check for spark, but we're 99 point 
whatever percent sure that we got spark. Right, Marty? <laughs> I don't know nothing. So, you want to do that right now? Yep. We're there, bro. Hey, we are finally there. How many days on the hard? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks on the hard. Yeah. <clears throat> We're at that point. Let's see if we got the pressure. Get it? Come on, it sounds terrible, it's doesn't tight. it? It's tight. Get back, Give Kev. me a, uh, give me some throttle. Left throttle. Yep. Pump it a couple times. Oh, that's seen it. See it? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So now, now you got the uh, the wires on? No. To the no. no, but it's we're there now. Yeah, it's ready, right? Okay. Start turning. I'm gonna turn this and try to get it to fire. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> we're, not in we're there, baby. Yeah. We are there. You're going to give it a little gas, and it's going to crank up. <laughs> now it's timing. All right. Go ahead. This one, keep trying. crank real easy shut them off and they'll crank right back up that means the timing's off just a hair on that one after we've let it warm up this one's a little closer I just crank right over So it was finally time to do a little shakedown cruise. Man, I gotta tell you how happy we were at this time that these engines were turning both of those props. Oh, a culmination of a lot of hard work. Did you have a brighter light anywhere? So once you get your engines first running, you wanna do a little shakedown cruise where you have the hatches open and you're able to stare at them and just looking for anything abnormal any sounds yeah. abnormal sounds yeah. marty was watching all the gauges so i was just looking for anything out of the ordinary and we didn't have any major problems all in temps are good
that Contiki fixing to head on up to More Haven. More Haven. City Dock. He's running. <laughs> Ain't no what, no reason to stop now. I'm gonna drive my truck up, meet him up there. You guys remember the 1970s car race movie, Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry? The end of that movie sounded very much like what you just said. Just now. Uh, they said, it looks like nothing can stop us now. <laughs> you know what happens? <laughs> I'll let you find out for yourself. We'll see. I think she goes, no problem. This setup is called a re 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 uh, recoverable line. You just have it going around the back and then this line's the cleat. Right. Yeah. Worst case scenario, he could let this go and it would just drag. We're good right now. You're good. It's gonna float you right out, I think. I believe so. See you in a little bit. Yep. See that again under power herself. Sounds good. What's around that man. You're about to find out. So guys, I know that we have some uh, new subscribers, so I'll kind of catch you up, show you where we are now that we're getting ready to start moving and where we're heading. So we left. Tampa area up here in about January. Came down, we worked our way all the way down the coast, all the way into Fort Myers and up the Caloosahatchee River. We continued to work our way up past LaBelle and then up to the current location on the video at Glades Boatyard. From there, we plan to go straight up and up to Moore Haven. There's a lock here at Moore Haven to get into the Lake Okeechobee Rim Canal. So we want to go there, test Contiki a little bit more, make sure everything's good, and then continue on the trip. Moore Haven. Moore Haven City Docks. And there comes Contiki. What's up, Booby? Coming in hot. A little reverse. Ooh. Stop it. Stop for motion. Stop it. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's a um I'm gonna pull inside of here and uh, empty out my waste tank because hey there's not there's very few boats in here and they got a nice little setup right there. It'd be easier since I ain't in no hurry. I'm just going down to the lock, or to the lock tonight. I'm going to tie up down there. It's feeling pretty good already. And then in the morning when they open up, I'll go through the lock and then head on down. Okay, guys, it's getting to that time limit. Going to have to wait till next time to see what happens on the trip on down there. Y'all come on back. Check it out. Also, now's a great time to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It's free. Get this far, you're a friend of mine for sure.